This is Luke from Emo Electric. We're here today to talk about some of the accessories for ePropulsion's Elite electric outboard. So everything we're gonna talk about today comes with the motor when you purchase it. Also comes with your regular 110 charger, a bag for the motor, uh, this transom bracket here, but these things on the table are all extras, kind of nice to have backups. So one of those things is the kill switch, which is right here. This works the same way a kill switch works on a gas outboard, right? You attach one end to yourself, and if you move away from the motor or fall overboard, it detaches from the motor and stops the motor from running. One of the things that I really like about e-propulsion motors is they give you two of those when you purchase the motor. So they come with two off the bat, but if you're concerned about losing them, you can always purchase more. Another product that we recommend purchasing with your e-light is an extra prop. So it, when you buy a prop, it comes with a propeller as well as the Allen screw and a shear pin that fits inside of here. Again, the motor comes with one, but if you break it or you break the shear pin and you have one on hand, you're only off the water for a couple minutes while you change it out. If you don't have an extra one, then you've got to wait to get a new one. Finally, the last thing we recommend purchasing with your e-light is an extra trim pin. So the trim pin goes right here, but unfortunately it doesn't lock into the motor all too well. You can see right now when the motor's down and there's pressure on it, you can't pull it out. If you turn it up and take some pressure off of the motor, then it comes out. There's this little piece of metal that kind of locks it in place. And then to insert it back, lift the motor up a little bit, turn it down, and it's locked. So it's unlikely that it will fall out when you're actually using the motor. But if you take the transom bracket off of your boat and there's not pressure from the motor on that pin and the bracket ends up upside down, it can fall out. We've had a couple customers who have lost theirs. Uh, it's not an expensive part, so we do recommend having a backup just in case. If you do lose the trim pin, your motor will still work without it. The only issue is that the motor will sit in the all the way down position, right? So the purpose of this trim pin is so if you have an angled transom, you can put in the trim pin in the appropriate position, and then the motor will sit perpendicular to the bottom of your hull. Of course, it doesn't look perpendicular now because our motor stand is 90 degrees. But anyway, if you lose the trim pin, the motor will just sit in the same position it would as if the trim pin were in that first hole. But if you go into reverse, the motor will lift up, right? It won't be able to lock down. Uh, so you'll always be in that anti-grounding mode if you don't have a trim pin. So not the end of the world, but it's a relatively inexpensive part to have on hand in case you do lose it. So the other accessories that people like to purchase with the E-Lite are the 12 volt and the solar charge controllers. These have been in pretty high demand recently, so we actually don't have any in stock with us today. But if you're a cruising sailor and you'd like to be able to charge your E-Lite without running your inverter or your generator, they're super helpful to have to keep your E-Lite charged up. We will leave a link in the description to those pages on our website so that you can take a look and see those products for yourself. And that's about it for, for the e-light. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos on e-propulsion products and electric outboards.